All right, I've never done a Bible review in my kitchen before. It actually, uh, the kitchen's over this way, but um, yeah, I've just never done that. I got some lighting here to help out and uh, cleared off the table. I even vacuumed, but uh, <laughs> so anyways, um, this is the Ruckman Reference Bible and really, really nice. Um, it was about $150 on the Bible Baptist Bookstore. Uh, bbbookstore.com and uh, it just has amazing um, iron calfskin uh, leather and you've probably seen my burgundy one uh, it's hand size this is more of a mid to full size um, a little over nine inches tall and about six inches this way with a nice little yap and they just get a lot of things right with this bible um, I'm going to compare it to a couple other ones that I've used. Um, I've had this one since 1994, since I was a kid in middle school, and this one around the same time. And uh, that's an NIV NLT. And another NIV I wanted to compare it to, of course, Ruckman would, would wag his finger at me and say to stick to the authorized version. So this is a King James Bible, and you can see um, Peter S. Ruckman was an artist, and he... Uh, drew that and it's actually inside of here too when you open it up uh, after the first page follow down me fight the good fight um, and yeah he was a pastor for years and years he had 10 kids um, he was originally i believe from i want to say it was way out there in kansas but uh then moved to alabama he lived overseas a while uh, there's some specs for you uh, somewhere in the midwest if i'm not right on that but center column references 118 appendices in the back 32 full color maps the notes this bible is rife fraught with notes i mean it just has a, a ton of them and i really like the uh, uh i believe it's single-sided satin ribbons they've 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 like flow down far and uh um, again, when you just touch the smoothness of this leather, it might win you over. Um, I think it feels in a way better than the Highland goat skins that you get from like Allen. Um, it just has a, has a great feel, really smooth. If I go in kind of close, uh, you can see some of the lines giving it a little character, the perimeter stitching. And again, the yap there, uh, it's a little semi yap, <clears throat> but it goes over pretty nicely. Real nice gilding, silver, and uh, the spine has some nice raised ribs on it. Ruckman Reference Bible. It's more of a study Bible, but that's fine. KJV. And uh, the font size is, is nice. Well, it shows it here. It's about a 10, whereas if you have the hand size iron calf skin, it's about a 9. Uh, they have other types of leather there at the website. That's the only place you can get it is the Bible Baptist Bookstore. Um, and I believe that's bbbookstore.com. Um, <clears throat> so nice leather liner. And uh, yeah, I've had it in the, my, my dusty den over there. But uh, I use it a lot. And the perimeter stitching is just real nice. The corner work is tight. Um, he just did a great job. It's edge lined and uh, their Bibles are just really, really nicely done, uh, especially for about 150. I think the hand size is about 130. Copyright 2009. Printed in the USA. And uh, I'm not going to get into a ton of his notes in this Bible, but like his notes show how much he knows the Bible. I think uh, Bob Jones called him his most brilliant student that ever came through the university. He apparently had like a super high IQ. I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something in the 150s, uh, something maybe even higher than that. But like he just could memorize scripture and really apply it well. Um, to get in here, 
You can see the uh, 10 point font, it's very readable, clear. Um, it looks line matched, maybe it's accidentally line matched. You know, sometimes it can, uh, it, looks, it looks like in some parts it's not actually line matched. Um, so <clears throat> in some parts, if, it, if it's a happy accident, he has just a lot of study notes. And the paper quality is really nice. I want to say it's about feeling it. Um, it feels kind of like a 34 GSM, maybe 33. Um, so it's it's not too thin and it, and it feels strong. And uh, the, the weight of the book, mm, it's, it's pretty hefty because it has all those notes. I mean, you're getting uh, probably a... Uh, getting close to two inches there on the thickness, about an inch and a half. But you can see here in Joshua, he doesn't have a lot of references. You know, he, he tends to stick more to the, the notes. Um, that's what I've noticed throughout this. It's a lot of blank space in those uh, parts, but he does start getting heavy with the notes and sometimes he gets heavier with references. There's even references here. And then at the back, there's like essays, you know, he calls them his uh, appendices, like Appendix 65, the center verses in the Bible. Uh, Appendix 66, the Hebrew Old Testament. <clears throat> and I've gone through some of these before. If you check out my extensive Ruckman review, the one that's 40 minutes on the Burgundy Bible, I go through a lot of his notes, and again, his notes are uh, fairly controversial, you know, because he thinks the United Nations will basically be taken over by Satan in the last days, and uh, um, will uh, do some pretty horrendous things, uh, so his interpretation of Revelation, sometimes people call it Ruckmanism, but uh, he knows the scripture well. You don't have to agree with all of his study notes. Um, if you look at the uh, poetry, verse by verse, double column format, plenty of references here. And it looks like it just gives one note on the bottom. The Lord's Supper was never a sacrifice and will never be a sacrifice, the spiritual sacrifice here has nothing to do with any bloody sacrifice at any altar any more than the Lord's Supper fits that formula. The words of Christ are not in red. He does more of a traditional approach. <clears throat> Chapter 5, the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And I know there's a little bit of shadow from this uh, light I'm using here, um, but uh, the ghosting is pretty minimal. He gives a, a note here at 5.9, Jesus Christ was not a peacemaker, nor is he one now. At his first advent, his first coming, the only peace he made was an inner peace in the individual. Yeah, he talks about how Christ says, I came to bring a sword, not, not peace. And actually, uh, even households will be divided. And uh, uh, sometimes your members of your own family will be your enemies because they don't believe in Christ and they think you're superstitious or uh, anti-science or whatever they might think. But um, it's, uh, it's one you can easily carry. Uh, to church. It's, it's very flexible. Um, again, it has some pieces on it because my, my couch is kind of, my leather couch, I've had it for years and years and it's, it's starting to kind of chip away and so it gets all over my books over there. So need a new couch, but I've needed one for a while. I wanted to compare it to some other stuff. Um, again, I like its flexibility. It's a strong, it's a thick cover. Um, it's, uh, you know, smoother than your pebbly goat skin normally is or some grainy cowhide or stuff like that. But it's it's one that um, if you want it to be a little more travel size, maybe check out the, uh, the hand size. 
Uh, just comparison wise, it's, it's again kind of a six by nine, it goes over that a little bit more uh, size. This is a, um, a premium Bible I bought back in 2013. See, I thought I bought my first premium Bible in 2019. Actually, that was my first premium edge lined one because I didn't realize I had bought this uh, back in the day, uh, almost 10 years ago. And of course it's an NIV because that's what I grew up reading. And uh, this is also an NIV. And uh, again, I, I use this one every now and then. There's sometimes I don't really pick it up that much. Kind of a salmon under gold. Uh, and you can see how they single column the, uh, the Psalms. Smaller font size, looks like a 7.5 or so. Um, so definitely not as big as the 10 was here. Um, but <clears throat> uh, this one, I wanna say the words of Christ are not in red either. So some people prefer it being all in black because the whole Bible is the words of God. Uh, some people prefer um, the red, but this is kind of a nice spongy little genuine leather, probably cowhide. Um, it says on the back, I believe. See, it's been sitting on stuff and premium leather. Yeah, so probably cowhide. Now, if you want the words of Christ in red, sometime after the 90s or so, they started printing them in, maybe it was the EPA, but they got rid of a lot of the the bright, bright red Bibles. This is a living Bible. Today it would be called the NLT. So they don't really make this anymore. It's a 1994, but look at the red. I mean, it is an intense red. The only red I've seen more red than that is the, uh, the, the red letter my dad has from when he was a kid back in the 1950s. So the, that was definitely a red, red ink Bible. So they, they make more of a medium red now. It's not nearly as uh, vivid as that. It's not nearly as bright red uh, as that. So, just going up a little closer. Pretty big font. Looks like a 10.5, maybe even 11. Um, but at any rate, it's, um, again, I got it when I was in eighth grade or so. Um, I wanted a very easy to read Bible. Um, even easier than the NIV. I was about 14 and I, I went to the um, Christian bookstore with my mom. Uh, it's over there in Fort Myers. It's uh, uh, the, the one over there by the Costco. And uh, I just wanted a more readable Bible. And uh, man, every now and then you pick it up because the King James is great, but it, every now and then can be a little draining to read, you know. But you, you, you sit and you read this and it's just so colloquial and easy to read. Um, I would argue even more than the NLT. Uh, for instance here, this is Timothy 2, uh, 2 Timothy 2. Take your share of sufferings as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, just as I do. And as Christ's soldier, do not let yourself become tied in worldly affairs. For then you cannot satisfy the one who has enlisted you in his army. Follow the Lord's rules for doing his work, just as an athlete either follows the rules or is disqualified and wins no prize. Work hard like a farmer who gets paid well if he raises a large crop. Think over these illustrations and may the Lord help you to understand how they apply to you. Um, but uh, this is definitely um, more of a hand size. You can see it's uh, skinnier, uh, you know, they don't make, as far as I can tell, the Living Bible anymore. I couldn't find it. This is uh, bonded leather, <clears throat> but uh, it's, it's held up over the years. There's been some years I haven't even picked it up. It's just been kind of in my drawer, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, if you're reading something a little more complex, maybe like one of the major prophets, maybe, maybe Isaiah, you don't know what they're referring to. It just puts it in such common speak. Chapter eight in Isaiah. Again, the Lord sent me a message. Make a large signboard and write on it the birth announcement of the son I'm going to give you. Use capital letters. His name will be Maher Shalahashbaz. That's a tough one. Which means your enemies will soon be destroyed. I asked Uriah the priest and Zechariah the son of Jeberkiah, 
both known as honest men, to watch me as I wrote so they could testify that I had written it. Then I had sexual intercourse with my wife and she conceived and bore me a son. So the one I chose to read happened to be a little different, but um, uh, you can see it just normally puts things, let's check out Psalms maybe, that could be a better example. Psalm 119, 132. Come and have mercy on me, as is your way with those who love you. Guide me with your laws so that I will not be overcome by evil. Rescue me from the oppression of evil men. Then I can obey you. Look down and love upon me and teach me all your laws. I weep because your laws are disobeyed. So again, uh, very modern, very easy to read. Um, and just lastly, to compare it to a study Bible, another study Bible, this is bonded leather. Uh, it was the first green Bible I ever got. It might be the last one I ever <clears throat> got as well. But again, this sits over by that couch and has collected some, <laughs> some, some stuff from the, that couch is just old. But anyways, um, you know, it's, it's, it also kind of sat, see how the leather's chipping off onto my books over and I need to get a new couch. But um, yeah, my mom had my name embossed on it, which was really cool. This is back from eighth grade as well, mid nineties. I took it with me to college at UCF in Orlando. And I used to have actually a <clears throat> um, holder on top of it. You know, one of those, it was like a, a brown and green one uh, cover, Bible cover. But, you know, pretty, pretty basic work on the corner, nothing fancy. It's just a study Bible. Uh, NIV had tons of notes, so it helped me in a lot of Bible studies. I took this to McGregor Baptist a lot. <clears throat> um, it is a red letter edition, but you can see um, not as intense, although it came from it came from the '90s as well. So that's one that um, I've used. It sits in my office now mainly, but I um, man, my favorite leather. It's probably a tie between the last video I did with the, uh, the, the two NIVs that are marshmallows and the, um, if you remember my NAS reader from Allen, that goat skin feels amazing too, um, but they all feel different. This is more of a smooth feel to it. If you want the nice pebbly, maybe go with the the Allen, and if you're more into Marshmallow Soft, uh, for a hundred bucks, guys, you can get the NIV Heritage or even the Thin Line from the Premier Series, and Zondervan just does an awesome job with it. So again, this one, the leather feels great. It just depends uh, what you want. I like that there's different styles. Uh, this is a premium Bible that's a study Bible. You don't see that a lot. You see some with references, but not just such copious notes. Um, and then again, uh, back at the end, there, there's a ton as well. And then he gives you um, uh, pages to take notes on. You know, there's uh, maybe 10 or 12. And then he gives you these maps, which are very clear, very vivid. Dan, Asher, Naftali, Manasseh. I get all the fun ones to pronounce today. <clears throat> but he gives you um, a lot of maps there in the back. I think they said, <clears throat> I think they said 30 something. <clears throat> 32 full color maps. So yeah, the Ruckman's really nice, guys. A great feel to it. Um, you could check out his other types of leather there too. And uh, um, it could help you just study your Bible more.